In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using the SI unit X package to label circuit diagrams. So head on over to Overleaf and make your free account if you haven't already made one, and then get a new project. So this is me making one I'm calling new circuit demo. And here's my blank demo. So I'm gonna change my name. It looks kind of strange the way it's rendered with an underscore. And uh, let's just right off the bat add the package circuit ticks. We'll just recompile to make sure everything works fine. Looks better. Okay, now we're going to add a figure. Begin by typing begin and then put fig. And then this is enough for completion. So I hit enter and I get a figure template. So that's good. Instead of include graphics, we put here begin circuit ticks. Enter to get our full environment. And then I'll just start by drawing a resistor. We start at the origin to. Basically, we're moving right four points and zero points up. This double plus sign makes it relative to the previous point, which is zero, zero. You'll see how relative coordinates work if you haven't already. Terminate with a semicolon, recompile. Here's our generic resistor. To add a label, we'll first add the SI unit X, or I guess it's just SI unit X, okay? There it is. Now, the manual way to add a label here is to put L equals dollar sign, and whatever you want goes in here. So let's put here 5, and then backslash semicolon text, K, and then backslash omega. So if I run this, compile it, there's my 5 kilo ohm resistor. Let's add another resistor. Let's continue this down. Uh, I did this wrong. It should actually be 0, negative 4. That means we're going to move neither left nor right, but down 4. So here we'll see our new resistor come in. OK, there it is. I'll show you the new label style. Let's put here L for label, and then put here cap the backslash SI for the SI units X command. This actually requires two inputs. So the first input is a numerical value, and then units. I can just put in ohm, for example, see how that goes. Or I can use prefixes like backslash mega. I think that's how that goes. It didn't like it. Maybe backslash lowercase mega. That's how we do that. And maybe for a little more completeness, let's add a current source. OK, it didn't like that. Uh, I'll try Ampere here. Let's see how that goes. Maybe Millie has one L. I'm not sure. OK, let's actually read the error. Giving up on this path. Did I forget a semicolon? Oh, I have an extra bracket here. That ought to be better. Yeah, that's what I thought. Two L's for Millie. Now it's better. OK, see no errors. The other thing I'll point out here is that this current source, it may not look like a current source that we're used to, especially if you're one of my students. So what we do here is we'll put in our circuit ticks environment, we'll put here American. And so this will use American symbols. It'll be a more familiar current source. Maybe I'll do one last thing. Let's put in a voltage source. And if I do this, I can go up four units. run that. Uh, the voltage source may not be the orientation that I like, so instead of you know, continuing off of this point and using the keyword 2, we'll omit the 2 for the next point and let's just add a new point. So I'll, use, I'll put here back to the origin and instead of going up, we'll go down. So 0 minus 4 and you'll see how the battery, right now it's connected here like this side first and then that side second, we're reversing the order. So this side, this is the origin first, and then that side. Okay, so I've successfully reoriented the battery, voltage source. Let's give it a, a name, symbol. I'm 
one thing, maybe I don't like the position of that. Maybe I want to move it to the other side. So I take this L, I put an underscore. You'll see my voltage move to the other side of the element. There it is. Uh, maybe I want to label a voltage across one of these resistors. So let's go to the first resistor. And then I put in here V. And I can put V1, so mathematical typesetting here. And then for the second resistor, I'll put in a number. See how that works? Like that. If I wanted the voltage symbol to go in the other direction, what I would probably do is I would reverse the direction of this resistor and that would reverse the direction of the assigned voltage. So that's a brief look at using SI units with circuit diagrams. Hope that helps. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.